The Rincon Gen 2 and the Rincon Gen 2 Air might seem similar from the first sight, but are they really? I tested each smart ring myself to tell you how they differ beyond the specs table, and I'll share my impressions on comfort, health tracking, battery life, and other features. All so you could decide which Rincon Gen 2 is the best smart ring for you. Let's get to it. Before we begin our Rincon Gen 2 versus Gen 2 Air comparison, a little practical insight. If you, like me, don't know your size, don't forget to order your Rincon Gen 2 sizing kit. Once you get the sizing kit, all you have to do is select the one that fits you best. Once you do that, you really eliminate all the guesswork and you can go straight to buying the best Rincon for you. And just to let you know that the sizing kit works for both the Gen 2 and the Gen 2 Air. Now let's unbox the rings together. You see on paper, the contents of the box are the same. It includes the ring, the charger, the USB-C cable, and user manuals. But in reality, the differences are apparent already. Now for the Gen 2 Air, it has a wired dock for charging. So they include you a USB-C cable that you can plug in to the charger. And right here is where you would put the ring. First impressions is pretty durable. Uh, it feels nice and high quality. Now for the Gen 2 ring, it includes a portable case. Now it has a USB-C entry in the back just in case you need to charge it, but it's a lot more sleek and modern in my opinion. I also like the fact that you can open and close it, leaving your ring charging there. So it feels a little bit more secure. Let's have a closer look into each device. The Rincon Gen 2 is made of aerospace grade titanium alloy, which makes it extremely lightweight. You can choose between four colors, matte black, gloss future silver, rose gold, and royal gold. Honestly, I find all of them looking really good with their clean and refined finish. Rincon Gen 2 has even won the IF Design Award, which is granted for both the visual appearance and the great ergonomics. And I truly found the ring very comfortable to wear. Meanwhile, despite its name, the Rincon Gen 2 Air feels a bit heavier in hand. You see, the Rincon used premium stainless steel for this model, which explains the weight and the fewer color options. This model is only available in Galaxy Silver and Dune Gold. I do think it still looks sleek, but I notice it's a little bit more prone to smudges or visible fingerprints. Now, as a perfectionist myself, I found that a little annoying, but to be fair, you only notice it from up close. Okay, now I'm going to share what it was like wearing both rings for several days soon. But from first sight, I only noticed a few differences between the two rings. A few things that stood out on the Gen 2 Air is that it is smudging a little bit easier. Like I mentioned before, it does feel a little bit heavier and it just calls more attention. So the look of it is more noticeable. It's not as subtle. Now, I really like the Rincon 2. As far as the weight, it's super lightweight. You can really barely notice it that you're wearing. You kind of almost forget it's there, especially with the look. I love the matte black look. And this is something that a lot of smart rings don't really have nowadays. Like this matte black look is very elegant, very sleek, very modern. And it kind of matches a lot of the outfits that I would normally wear. Before I get to the features of both rings, here's a little heads up. I've got special discounts for you. Whether you're after the Rincon Gen 2 or Gen 2 Air, I added links in the description or you can scan the QR codes right here on the screen. Let's get on with the Rincon Gen 2 versus Rincon Gen 2 Air side-by-side -side spec comparison. Made from titanium alloy, the Rincon Gen 2 only weighs two to three grams and the Air model can weigh from two and a half to four grams. Naturally, the bigger the size of the ring, the bigger the weight. Now, personally, I wear a size 11 and the difference while sounds small in grams is quite apparent when you put it on and you feel it. However, the dimensions are exactly the same. Both smart rings measure at 6.8 millimeters in width and are only two millimeters thick. Because of this, either one of them looks sleek and minimal. But if you prefer your wearable tech to look and feel more premium, the Rincon 2 might fit you a little better. Both devices have the IP68 rating, which guarantees protection from water and dust. Now, as a frequent swimmer and someone who likes to do occasional DIY projects that tend to get messy, I certainly appreciate this. 
Now let's talk about battery life. For the Rincon Gen 2 Air, 10 days is a maximum, but the Rincon Gen 2 stretches it a bit further. 10 days are promised for sizes 6 and 7, sizes 8 through 11 get an additional day, and sizes 12 through 14 will last you up to 12 days. The differences aren't major, but remember that their charging systems are different. Consider this if you travel a lot. You see, most of my trips are fairly short, so I don't need to worry about my ring running out of battery. And even if I did, I could pop the Rincon Gen 2 in the case, which holds up to 20 full charges. But if you like to go on longer trips and go for the Rincon Gen 2 Air, you'll need to bring the charging cable and port with you. And that's just an extra nuisance. The Rincon Gen 2 achieves better efficiency through its advanced MCU chip, which can perform more while using less energy. The Air model operates on a less advanced chip, which requires more energy from its battery. Finally, here's perhaps the biggest difference. You can use a Rincon Gen 2 for sleep apnea detection. While it's not approved by the FDA, it measures the SpO2 time spent in different sleep stages and interruptions in breathing to see if there's a possibility that you have the condition. It's pretty unusual for smart rings and has been one of the main reasons I decided to try the Rincon Gen 2 in the first place. And just a quick note, you will have to turn sleep apnea monitoring on manually, and this function will reduce battery life slightly. Both Rincon Gen 2 and Rincon Gen to air track a wide range of metrics which you can later check in the app. Unlike most smart rings, Rincon doesn't require any subscriptions to unlock the features. So let's have a closer look at what these features are. Quite a few of them overlap, so I'll begin with those available on both rings. So first up is a 24-7 heart rate monitoring and heart rate variability. HRV is often treated as a general wellness indicator. The higher it is, the better your body adapts to stress. So when I first open the app and scroll down to vital signs and open that, it'll show me a lot of metrics, a few of them being the heart rate and the HRV. So looking at the heart rate, it might be a little bit increased just because I'm filming this video. But if I scroll down to my HRV, I'm quite happy with that just because I'm working out pretty regularly and it's a good way for me to keep track of that. Then we can track SpO2 or continuous blood oxygen saturation. Now it's very important for those who have respiratory or cardiovascular conditions. You see, when your SpO2 drops below 95%, it might indicate the need for medical attention. So in that same section, I can look at my SpO2 and monitor it. Also, Rincon uses SpO2 levels to provide insights on stress levels. And here's how it's showing up. As I can see here, it's a normal stress index, which is pretty good because that way I can monitor how stressed I am depending on the day. As someone who cares about general wellness, I'm slightly obsessed with tracking my sleep. And naturally, I was really delighted to see that the Rincon tracks REM, light, and deep stages of my sleep, and even naps. I've already started testing a few new bedtime routines to see if it will improve my shut-eye quality. So if I go to the sleep index, it'll show me that I had pretty good sleep on that day. It scored me a 78 out of 100 which says I have a sleep efficiency of 93%, I'll take it. It says that if I scroll down, it'll break down how much I spent in REM, light sleep, or deep sleep, which is really good because the more REM and deep sleep I have, the better that I feel. It'll also break down the heart rate, the HRV status, and the SpO2 levels as well. Now, one thing that I really do like is it'll show me the total time asleep. So if I'm trying to figure out, okay, how much I spend on the bed versus actually sleeping, it even breaks that down, the time asleep versus time in bed, and it scores that sleep efficiency. Another feature that I find nice to have is skin temperature monitoring. I mostly use it to plan my workout and recovery sessions. So if my temperature stays higher for a longer time after a workout, I know I just need to ease it up a bit. Now in the app, it shows me my skin temperature. Now something that I wanted to explain is that it does go higher during and after workouts or any other stressful moments. Now let's move on to perhaps my favorite bit, activity. Here we have quite a bit of tracking. You see, Rincon counts your steps, the amount of calories that you use up during physical activity, and your workouts. 
So all you have to do to activate that is you go to your profile on the bottom right on me, you go to settings, you go to function management, and you just make sure that the automatic workout detection is toggled on. That way you don't have to manually activate the feature whenever you're starting a workout. You can just begin your workout and this is a lot more convenient that way. Okay, so once I'm in my activity panel, I can see the amount of steps, the calories that I burn and the time that I spend active. What I do also like is that if you scroll the way down to the bottom, it has an activity summary. So if you just wanna get a quick snapshot of where you stand that day, you can just scroll the way to the bottom and it'll give you a high level overview. Now, when we go back, there's an exercise panel that allows you to record an activity. The only downside is that it only lets you record five types of activity, which are outdoor running, indoor running, indoor cycling, outdoor cycling, and outdoor walking. Okay, we've covered quite a few features already, but there's more. And this is where it gets really interesting. You see, using all the data it tracks, Rincon calculates readiness and recovery scores. I personally use it together with temperature measurement to adjust my workouts. My favorite part is the AI-powered insights and tips. Rincon takes all available metrics into account to give you actionable advice you can follow to improve how you feel physically and mentally. And to round up the features of both rings, I must mention that there's a menstrual cycle tracking available on the app. So on the app, all you have to do is go to your bottom profile, scroll down to settings and go to function management, and it'll allow you to toggle the period forecast in case you want that feature activated. Now the following part will be mostly focused on the Rincon Gen 2 review, but I must mention the exclusive features available on this model. And the main one is sleep apnea risk detection. After enabling it manually, your ring will perform a three night test and then it will present you with the results. Next up, we have the ODI or oxygen desaturation index. You see, in other words, it shows you how often your oxygen levels dropped more than 3%. Finally, it will also show you the lowest SpO2 level throughout the time. So now let's take a look at what I got. So on the Apple, I have to do is scroll the way down to the sleep apnea monitoring and just check out my results. Now looking at my comprehensive assessment report for sleep apnea risks, it didn't detect any abnormalities, which was quite a relief on my end. And if you scroll down, you can see the monitoring data, the AHI and the ODI, the SpO2 levels, and the percentage of time with blood oxygen saturation below 90%. So it considers all of those metrics and then it measures it. Now let's wrap up the features with an important note. You see, while Rincon Gen 2 uses high frequency 2 Hertz s field 2 tracking for more precise readings, its sleep apnea detection is still not approved by the FDA. So while you can use it for general risk awareness, do not treat Rincon as a medical device because it is not. And if you do get suspicious, just make an appointment with a medical professional to confirm your diagnosis. I feel like I've discussed the features of Rincon Gen 2 rings quite extensively. But to complete the review, it's just as important to see how it holds up in real life. So after having worn both devices for several days, I got quite a few impressions to share. Now let's talk about comfort during daily activities, for example, like work or if you're doing house chores. Now, for me, it was great because I barely noticed that I had it on. And that's one of my favorite things about the Rincon Gen 2 is that it's super lightweight. It doesn't really get in the way of your day to day. For example, I spend a lot of time on my computer typing or I have to clean around the house, sweeping or moving things. It didn't really feel like I had anything on. And for wearable technology, that is rare. Usually it sometimes gets in the way, but with the Rincon Gen 2, it felt very seamless. Now I wanna talk about the comfort during workouts. For example, like running, weightlifting, swimming. I'm training for a marathon, so that means I'm running a lot, I'm going to the gym, a lot i'll do the occasional swim and during all of those activities i didn't really notice that i had it on it didn't get in the way of things the only note that i will make is that if you are going to go to the gym and you're throwing around a lot of weights grabbing certain dumbbells or the barbell it might get a little bit tedious just depending on the style of the weights but overall it didn't really bother me too much um, i just slightly adjusted it and it wasn't really an issue for me so overall, comfort wise, I think it's great. Now with any wearable tech, the most important thing is if it helps make your life better. 
And with Rincon, I really did start making some changes. Some of the insights that I found the most useful is the sleep score and my stress levels. So having that information and the metrics at hand really helped me adjust how much more sleep I would get, how to monitor my stress levels by including maybe some breathing exercises or some yoga throughout my week, just to make sure that I'm balancing out and making sure that I'm not pushing too hard. I wanted to comment on the battery life because I'm sure most of you watching this video are very busy. Maybe you're working out a lot, you're working, you're spending time with your friends and family. I completely forgot to charge this, but it still had battery. It blew my mind how long it lasted. And for the entire week and a half that I was wearing it, I don't really have to charge it except once. That to me is super convenient because it doesn't really interrupt your day. And like most good wearable technology, it's supposed to enhance your lifestyle, not take away from it. Now let's talk about wear and tear. I've been using this thing for quite some time consistently, and I tend to be pretty rough on my technology just because I'm out and about. I like being in nature. I like working out a lot and, you know, doing handy things around the house. But there's no visible scratches or smudges or anything on the ring, which I found very surprising because I thought it would, but it's made with really good quality. So if you are one to be a little bit more rougher with your technology, there's nothing to worry about. All right, so what's the verdict? Well, I strongly believe that both Rincon Gen 2 models are worth your attention. My personal favorite, if you hadn't guessed, is Rincon Gen 2. I think it will be the best for those who seek premium quality at every step of the way, and it just has a really nice, expensive look to it. It's super comfortable to wear, and it lasts long, and it's super easy to charge. Now, the Rincon Gen 2 Air will deliver just as well if you're budget conscious. While not as premium, it still looks really stylish, it's pretty comfortable, and it has all the features that you need. I think it's the best option for those who are just beginning to use wearable technology in their day-to-day -day life. Now, hopefully I made your next smart ring choice at least a little bit easier. Now to end this Rincon Gen 2 and Rincon Gen 2 Air review on a high note, let me remind you about the special discount. The links are in the description or you can always scan the QR codes right here that you see on the screen. And of course, if you're interested in other health tech reviews, we've got plenty more on the Wellness Pulse channel. So see you around and happy watching.